So as we go through the training, we're going to do formal and informal exercises. So examples of formal meditations include the body scan, the seated meditation, or the three-minute breathing space. Then the informal exercises, we've got awareness of routine activities, body awareness, and awareness of impulsive and reactive patterns. Also an awareness during social interactions. So the body scan entails bringing awareness to each part of the body. You first pay attention to the posture and then direct your attention to the breathing. After this, attention is brought to the different body parts, starting with the feet and moving up from there. During the exercise, you're going to pay attention to the different physical sensations that are present in that specific area of the body. And then after attention has been briefly focused on that particular region of the body, you move on to the next. And during the exercise, many people find themselves easily distracted by thoughts or bodily sensations or sounds. And so if distraction occurs, just gently return your attention to the body part at hand. And do so without blaming yourself or reacting in frustration. When paying attention to the body, you might become aware of painful or unpleasant sensations like neck or back pain. Instead of altering or ignoring or suppressing the sensations, simply notice them on a moment by moment basis. The seated meditation, so where with a body scan, we use the body as the object of attention. The seated meditation takes the breath as the main focus of the attention. So we sit in an upright position with a straight back, preferably with your eyes closed. And then after becoming briefly aware of the current posture, you direct your attention to the breathing. Notice the physical sensations of breathing, such as the air moving into the nostrils and the chest expanding. As soon as the mind begins to wander, simply notice the distraction or thought without evaluation and return your attention to the breath in a kind way. The three minute breathing space is a very brief mindfulness meditation that can help to integrate mindfulness into everybody's everyday life. So it enables you to disrupt automatic patterns of thinking and behavior and also to increase your acceptance-based coping. The exercise commonly involves three steps. The first is to ask yourself, where am I? How am I doing? What am I thinking? In this way, you step outside of the doing mode for a moment, disrupting the habitual patterns and introducing an awareness of the current experience. The second step then involves the single focus of attention. And so attention is directed away from the thinking and focused on the breath. Whilst during the third and the last step, attention is expanded so that it also includes awareness of body sensation. The focus here is on the body as a whole. And so the three minute breathing space involves a direct way of coping, characterized by awareness and willingness to experience what is present. Now, sometimes there are some obstacles. For instance, during working hours, it might be difficult to spend 15 minutes lying down to perform a body scan or focusing on one's breath. However, that's how formal exercises can be adapted. So while the body scan is most often carried out in a laying position, it's always possible to do it in a seated position. The duration can also be altered. So you know, sometimes 45 minutes, and you can also do it down to 15 minutes or less. Whereas the three minute breathing space is only three minutes. To build a new habit, use the breathing space at three times during the day. And then you can exercise whenever you feel the need. The exercise is used in a way for coping with emotions, thoughts, feelings, and sensations. For instance, if an employee experiences stress at work, they might pause for a moment and use the exercise to disrupt the negative cycle of stress-related thoughts. By taking some time to connect with the body, you can also be aware of bodily stress responses, allowing for appropriate measurements. Example, taking a break. 
often integrating more extensive formal mindful practices in already busy life requires a careful planning and communication. It's advisable to check your schedule for time and a place for performing the exercise that works best for you. Some people find it more easily to practice in the morning before they go to work, where other minds, so you know, some people find it easier to do it in the evening before they go to bed. Repeat the practice on a regular basis using the same time and location so you can start building this habit. So mindfulness can also involve informal exercises that require a single focus of attention and the ability to gently turn back to the object of attention. Of course, that can be anything ranging from a conversation with somebody to eating lunch. And so these exercises are particularly useful when we're learning to integrate mindfulness into the workplace because, you know, they don't really take any extra time or any environmental changes. They're virtually endless examples of informal practices, which make it impossible to list and describe them all here. But, you know, example, you can do awareness of routine activities like taking a shower or driving or walking to work, having lunch. And so the idea is to focus your thoughts. And when distractions emerge, just notice them and bring back your attention to the task at hand. Example, when you're eating mindfully, one eats slowly and the attention is mainly directed at the experience in the present moment, which includes the physical movements, the taste, the smell of the food, etc. So rather than doing multiple things at the same time, like eating while you're reading or driving or talking on the phone, you adopt a single focus of attention. You're encouraged to pick up a few of these routine activities and to practice performing them in a mindful way. Since it's not very time consuming and involves activities that you're performing on a daily basis anyway, this exercise can easily be implemented into your daily workday. Pick activities that you can be mindful in. The awareness of the body that's cultivated through the body scan can be implemented in the daily life by regularly paying attention to the body throughout the day in various circumstances. So you can pay attention to your posture, become aware of physical sensations such as pain or tension, jobs requiring lifting or monotonous tasks, uncomfortable work postures, repetitive movements, prolonged periods of a computer. You know, these things have all been found to be associated with physical problems such as neck, back pain and occupational repetitive strain injuries. And so mindful awareness of these sensations is likely to enhance early detection and prevention of these physical complaints. So you could, example, implement daily movements of mindful awareness by setting up an alarm. So at, at random intervals, just to disrupt this repetitive movements so you can become aware of your posture. With awareness of impulsive and reactive patterns, you know, many of our daily patterns of thinking and behavior are habitual. So failing to perform well may immediately trigger negative and self-critical thoughts and judgments. The experiences of sadness can result in a direct attempt to push away the unwanted feeling. Receiving a snide remark from a colleague may cause you to go and raise your voice and you know, say things that maybe you regret later. In these examples, behavior is guided through automatic patterns. And mindfulness requires awareness of these patterns as they arise during the day. While it may sometimes be difficult to become aware before the onset of the impulsive reaction, becoming aware afterwards can also be beneficial because it may enhance the detection of similar patterns in the future. Awareness during social interaction you know, practicing mindfulness in a social context involves using the interaction with other people as a single point of focus. So instead of multitasking during conversation with a colleague or thinking about what to say next, the attention is directed at the current conversation, which is, of course, is exactly what we're doing in coaching. In contrast to identifying with our own assumptions reacting impulsively, Mindfulness requires an open, non-judgmental attitude during the conversation, 
which are characterized by deep listening, perspective taking, and allowing room for the client to respond. Mindfulness during social interactions can also involve speaking with awareness. You know, so pause before we speak, before we ask the question, monitoring our own thoughts and considering the impact of when we actually pronounce and say the words that we wanted to. Practicing awareness during social interactions and exercise can easily be implemented in our daily life. So every coaching interaction that we have is a social interaction.